Hey hey, welcome to another battle report and we're doing something new. We're doing War Machine. Just getting back into this. We haven't played this in quite a while. So I'll be playing Cador with my Winter Guard army. And I'll be playing against Ash. So hello Ash. Hey, hello Ash. And he'll be <laughs> he'll be doing his signal army. We'll go through the army quickly. Just give you a we haven't played this in a while, so we're no experts, we're just getting back into it, we're getting our armies out of the dust box. So mine is basically a winter god army. I haven't used this since what was the first Prime book came out. So I had no jacks. I'm gonna have to model rip one of the jacks. But I've got ten winter god here with a rocketeer, and then I've got another ten winter god here with a rocketeer, and I've got another ten winter god here with a rocketeer, a standard bearer, and the captain. And in between these lots is Kovnik Joe. Then I've got Commandant Ikrust, or however I would pronounce that. With a berserker as my warjack. I know that doesn't look like a berserker, but trust me, it is. Then I got two field guns, two mortars, some assault commandos, the Grey Lord Turnian and his squad over there. And then I got a manhunter advanced deployed over there. And I got some widowmakers advanced deployed over here. That's 50 points. And this game should be pretty quick. As <laughs> Ash is a much better player than I am at this. Come on, Ash, do your army. I got a unit of Arcane Tempest Gun Mages with the unit attachment over here. I've got some Stormblade Infantry who are hiding behind Boom Howler and a full unit of his boys, Gorman, to provide a bit of cover. I've got an Ironclad and a Defender with Captain Alistair Kane, uh, Advanced Deployed Rangers. And on the left flank, we've got Selena and her Ness Hunters. So. <laughs> Alright, so 50 points. We'll do them top and tail turn orders, so we'll come back to you after my first turn. No, your first turn. My you got first turn. turn. Ash deployed first and is going first. And we are playing Throwdown, by the way. That's what these two massive red discs are, yeah? They're the control points. And what is it, a six turn game? I uh, um, think it's six turn. Oh, I know. So. Is focus. Signa turn one, uh, not much really happened because of the short range of the game. Uh, the Arcane Mages stepped forward and tried to snipe the Widowmakers but were just out range. Everything else has run. Boom Howler called his uh, call of defiance so that his guys uh, make their top rolls on a four plus. And they've got uh, heightened reflexes from Kane on them so that they can't be knocked down. So that should work out quite nicely. Apart from that, everything else just ran forward so to get into a decent engagement range next turn and uh, the jacks and Kane themselves have started swinging to the right because if you have a look <laughs> that is where <laughs> most of Jason's force is so yep and I'll leave you to alright this is Cattle turn one and uh, as you can see my horde of winter guard have moving through the brush here yeah, into the area of the control area advancing towards the signal forces um, this unit here yeah, has got um, uh, Covenant Joe put Motherland on them to give them tough. I think it's called Motherland. This one used the Bob and Weave order, so they got plus two defense. And they also got um, Iron Flesh from Irusk, so they got another plus three defense. So they got plus five defense, but they're minus one speed. Uh, Covenant Joe's in the middle there. Everything else just moved up. The Berserker ran forward over there. The field guns were out of range. The mortars, um, one mortar fired on the Nis Hunters over there and killed three of them. And the other mortar missed its target over there. The Soul Commanders have moved up. The Man Hunter moved in behind them. Terrion moved up there over there. And I had one of the, oh yeah, the Widowmakers killed two of these guys over here. Ash filed both these tough holes. So that's it. That's the preliminary moves. Now into the meat. So, Let's end of Signa ahead. turn two. Um, managed to kill a couple of uh, D's foam. As you can see, he's just taking the casualty off now. Uh, a couple of those uh, tough winter guard, uh, four of them. And a couple failed their toughness tests. In fact, out of the unit of seven arcane gun mages, only one failed to do anything. Um, Boomerhalla and crew running forward again. Uh, didn't actually do anything. Well, they tried to fire on them, but all missed. Yeah, the Berserker is currently, thanks to a good lucky shot as uh, from the Defender, uh, has lost its movement track and took 12 points of damage, which is quite nice. Um, Stormblades got blurned following up over here. 
Um, the Rangers have popped out. I'm not quite sure why I've done that, but they have. Um, <laughs> Gorman's dropped his little smoke bubble on himself. And the Nist Hunters have claimed the first of the Grey Lords uh, because Jason forgot about their blizzard, but then we realised that the Nist Hunters got Hunter and they ignore concealment and cover in forests. Oop, I don't know what I was pointing out there. <laughs> so at the end of your turn two as well, you got one of the control points so far. Yeah, but it doesn't mean anything until the end of my turn three. So it's all over to Jason to try to contest and stop me winning. Alright, so this is Cattle turn two. Um, as you can see, my Winter God Horde have moved up onto the control point. And I took out two of those um, duelists okay. up at the top there, gun majors. And we move across here. Also, I did some tough things as well. They got tough and plus two defense. And over here, I killed a couple of the Boomalas trolls with some shooting. And then the Berserker advanced into combat because he has no longer any movement. And he killed one of the trolls. So he's in combat with that one over there. Um, the Rangers took a mortar and killed two of them. The Nis Hunters took some flame templates from the turn ice blizzard guys and uh, killed a couple of them and Gorman got shot to pieces by the salt commandos so as you can see I've been tit and tatting Ash's army all the way here yeah. just little bits couple from there couple from there couple from there couple from there for Gorman and uh, that's about it unfortunately I think Jason's got the numbers in his advantage well, I, was, I was started with that I went with a heavy left jab Let's see if what Ashen can do on his turn three. Uh, hopefully, he won't get any of the control points, and then I can win it in my turn three. Woohoo! Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, end of turn, uh, Signa turn three. Um, contesting the right hand objective. I don't think I'm going to be able to capture it with that horde and only those few models left. Didn't kill enough to be able to try to claim it. Um, over here, the Berserker uh, is still engaged with Boom Howlers and. Took another 8 points of damage. Yep, yeah, slowly but slowly may whittle it down. Um, made a massive dent in uh, <laughs> Jason's uh, right flank, or my left flank as the case may be. We've just got Manhunter, the Grey Lords, and of course his artillery train, which is going to terrify me in a minute. Uh, but yes, only that's man what Jason the thinks. Uh, just man hunter. Um, so yeah, all in all, an iffy turn. Didn't lose it this turn, so that's always a good thing. Well, you killed all the uh, commandos as well. Uh, but well, will I win it? Who knows? All right, so this is the end of cattle turn three, and as you can see, I've swarmed all over this objective. There are two. Uh, gun majors left and there are only three of those guys left as they've I've been picking them off slowly but surely so war of attrition man war of attrition down here boom is dead as well plus one of his mates and over here i've killed alicia and her nis hunters or whatever that unit's called and the selena. selena selena the rangers have also taken a battering there's only one of them left and i only put a little bit of damage on the defender but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to control that area. I've got the Manhunter left there. So, I think this game might have been a draw if we look at this. Yeah. But let's see what we can do. I mean, uh, if I can clear out his forces in this area and then try and maybe move across and finish off those war jacks, or maybe assassinate Kane, the game's in the bag. <laughs> game's in the bag. How many turns are we playing? And obviously, we're. Well, I fired all my weapons at the defender, but obviously they're going to do massive artillery damage against it. It's only a light def artillery. But at least Boomhal is dead, and obviously these guys have taken mass casualties. Don't know if they're going to be able to clear out my Winter Guard horde. Alright, there we go. Your turn okay, so turn end four. of my turn four. As you can see, um, my right flank's being swarmed by... Um, <laughs> the Can't beat them, overrun them. <laughs> yeah, they're just mowing me down slowly but steadily. Uh, killing. I did manage to get rid of Mr. Bob and Weave, so that's always nice. That would be the standard bearer. Yeah. <laughs> um, over here, they're still stuck in combat, though I expect the Berserker to kill the rest of Boom Howler's guys, as Boom Howler is now dead, and I can't make a tough roll for love nor money. Uh, over here, this control point is now mine, 
so depending on how many turns we have left will dictate on whether the game ends in a draw or somebody gets a win. Yeah, because he killed the man and to end the last and two the, remaining Grey Lords. Yeah. And we're not quite sure with the rules for artillery pieces. As you can see, one of the field guns is gone because we went with that if you kill, target and kill it, then that's dead because it's kind of like... Yeah, well, what happened? The defender shot and at the window, at the field gun and we assume it kills the leader, which means it kills the field gun, leaving the two grunts on their own. Using the standard God now. Um, war machine, I'm going to target that model and kill it. So, so if you have any, if you if we're doing it wrong, just comment underneath. Yeah, let us know. Nice right, this is cattle turn four, I think. Uh, double check that when I do the video, but I'm pretty sure it's turn four. So what happened was um, I killed another one of the firing guys, <laughs> and I killed Don't two of the gun majors, the gun majors, and two of the cricket bat guys. <laughs> Stormblade infantry. <laughs> uh, the rest of my infantry all swarmed out over the side. Yeah, the um, uh, Widowmakers jumped over the hedge and fired on the defender, putting a few more damage boxes on its uh, cortex. I killed one more of Boomhaller's retinue, and everything else fired on the defender, and he's seriously wounded. I think he's. I have five hit points left. Yeah, where is he? There it is. Left. Weapon and one, one point of movement. That's all he's got left. And then those three guys there. So I think we've got one more turn left before I win this. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ash, your turn five. Right, turn five. So things are getting really bleak here at the end of turn five. Uh, lone gun mage uh, officer, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> And a lone uh, Stormblade infantry guy uh, holding this point. Um, as you can see, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of Winter Guard. Uh, Widowmaker's down to one, and who is technically fleeing. Yeah, he failed his command check. Uh, the Berserker is quite battered and bruised, and that one, uh, Carl Kin, did some more points of damage. Um, that ranger killed a grunt. Yep, the ranger killed a grunt. Which grunt's gonna have you, man. Jason says he's gonna have vengeance, but I don't see it happening. <laughs> Why have I got a feeling I no, didn't? No, I did fire the. Uh, yeah, and you killed yeah. my sergeant over there. Yeah, and uh, Kane brought quite a lot of uh, attacks to kill the, the three widowmakers. The widowmakers, and now got blur on himself to hopefully survive the next turn, but who knows? Right, so happens. this is my cattle turn five. A little bit successful, but so close to winning. Obviously, I've claimed this area here as I've finished off those last two units. So, both the shooter guys and the fighter guys, <laughs> Stormblades and the, what's the gun, gun majors, are both dead. Boom Alice unit is dead as I killed the final guy there. And I moved everything up, fired everything I could at that one ranger in the corner because I managed to get one of my grunts into the control area and he lucked out. Both mortars missed. Field gun was out of range. This one was out, out of range by about one inch. It, yeah, it was just under an inch out. Um, the Rocketeer was out. Everything ran up. I just couldn't do it. By the way, this defender is also dead. It's a wreck marker now. So all he's got left is the Ironclad Kane, who took six points of damage. Yep. And that Ranger over there. Unfortunately, I think he might try and assassinate me this turn. <laughs> if the game continues. Yeah. So roll dice, Ash. See if the game continues. I think it does. If we're doing this wrong, you guys can comment underneath. And yell at us. Yeah. That's for standard. Come on, Ash, what are you going to do? Can you do it? So, well, not much to out. say, apart from that I went for my assassination attempt and failed. What six points left. Six points left. If I'd, uh, if I'd not missed with one of my shots, it would have been a completely different story. I think you should have boosted that last attack, man. Do you want to just explain how you got there as well? Um, it's a long way to go. Well, yeah, I was, as you can see, I was over here and got to there. So what I did was my unclad ran forward. I declared a charge against it with Kane. Cast, uh, once the charge was complete and successful, I was able to cast Gatecrasher, which allowed me to appear here. And then I popped my feet, which... Um, Gave you the cumulative yeah, bonuses. which makes my ranged attacks more powerful, unfortunately. Uh, Gatecrasher cost three to cast and the one that I had to spend on the ironclad to move it as far forward as possible is kind of what cost me. Uh, if I'd not been all the way over here, maybe. 
Oh yeah, uh, that one ranger <laughs> killed the other grunt. Didn't kill the other grunt. So uh, <laughs> as we can see, one ranger better he's like, than two grunts. He's like that badass snipers from Black Hawk Down in the helicopters. <laughs> yep. Copy them as they're running uh, in. I wouldn't mess with him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the assumption is Jason will win, probably either by killing the ranger and running these guys in, or, or killing Kane. Or both. I'm gonna do both. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Not much of a case of let's see what happens, let's just see how it'll happen. Alright, All right, that's it. Game over, and I've won by many, many conditions. I've uh, claimed both objectives in Throwdown, so that's victory number one. I've killed Alistair Kane. Is that what his name is? Alistair Kane? Yeah. So he's dead. I should also try to quit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he rage quit. But I failed, so it's not another time to victory. And his entire army is wiped out. So there you go, Ash. Put the big owl on your head, man. <laughs> He's less dyslexic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's it. Cattle of one. And uh, that was a pretty good game. I thought it was really close. I like the fact that my left side was really, like, in charge, but your right, your left side was also really in charge. And I had to, like, send my horde of Winter God across to go even the odds out. And I just managed to hang on with your assassination attempt. I say I managed to hang on. Six points is like an eternity of... It, it was that one miss. Like yeah. It was one miss. I would have, my next one would have been stronger and I also would have done... Not enough damage. Not enough damage. <laughs> 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 I think Kane's assassination... That's a fifth win. <laughs> yeah. ...is really hit and miss. And more, each time I've done it so far, I've missed. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, the other thing we've got to think about here as well, we haven't played War Machine in what, like over a year, year and a half. Easily. So we were just coming to terms with all the abilities and stats and things like that again, and you know, figuring out uh, how we were going to go with our armies and things. Plus, uh, Jason has been starving me because we haven't ordered food <laughs> until about five minutes ago, and even with my diet, I still need food. You think he doesn't have his own house? I don't. My berserker still survives. I'm survive. planning buying one as soon as somebody can give me a mortgage. Stop talking about mortgages. <laughs> uh, my berserker survived as well. It's not a berserker. <laughs> Yeah, I tried so many times when you were uh, Boom Hallow was around me. I was like, oh, I'm going to use three focus points and try and blow him up. And he wouldn't blow up. What do you think? Any comments from you? I enjoyed it. I, I've got to remember. I, it's one of the few 50 point games I've ever played, actually, because normally we play 35 points, which is a nice, quick game. And you generally don't have to worry about a massive horde of Winter Guard <laughs> being backed up with a massive artillery train. So, yeah. Plus. Jason cheated, he put all the nice cover there so that um, his commander could hide. <laughs> no, I enjoyed it, looking forward to getting back into um, War Machine and uh, Jason painting my stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm lazy and I can't be bothered. I'm eventually one day going to finish my Winter Guard as well. Uh, I, yeah, I see there's now Winter Guard riflemen as well. So i got to see if I can get them, squeeze them into my Winter Guard army. And DZ as well, he's got a, a mercenary army. Was it Grunback? It's not, it's not mercenary there, they're dwarves. <laughs> Nothing but dwarves and one big angry bear. That's right. So we'll, we'll see, hopefully see his that, unpainted if, metal on the, if, on hey, the table. Some, some of them are painted. <laughs> if I paint either of these two armies, I would have won a lot earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that like when you won the Civilization <laughs> game? <laughs> <laughs> see that, folks? <laughs> Well, Don't come back. So. <laughs> That's our game. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we should be back with yeah. some more games later. And please leave comments and tell us what we did wrong, because positive we did lots of stuff wrong. Yeah. Well, I know you did. You lost. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use this game as a tutorial. Yeah. Probably the best bit of advice I could give. Well, thanks for watching, guys. See you Cheers. next.